Welcome to episode three of the Pain Olympics. I'm your host, Green Shiz Collectibles. Let's get into some more pain and suffering, shall we? <laughs> Okay, episode three. So we got, starting off, more vending series. Uh, absolutely love these cards. I haven't really talked about them much. Kind of just trying to fly through these. But uh, PSA 8s are really bad grades for these. In my honest opinion, um, these cards got absolutely torched. The vending series cards. I think I've only walked away with a few 10s. This is an awesome 10 to get, though. Hitmonchan. Um, absolutely love this art. It's a sick card. So, a couple 8s and a 10. Can't complain. Can't complain. Ooh, another 10. What is happening? Did we? Uh, did they change graders halfway through this submission? I don't think so. That's not usually the way this goes. Um, so, two 10s out of five cards is not bad, but let's get back to the 8s, shall we? I'm not going to be taking the time to look at all the scuffs. I'll go through them after this. Um, but it's... I do like looking at these really minty cards. This one got a 10, though. Very nice. Looked like the same condition as those 8s. Can't complain about that. And we got a 6 on the gloom. Pack fresh with the scuff. Uh, very good. Very good. Pulled this out of the pack myself. Really curious as to uh, where this thing got dinged. So that's interesting. Doing well. Doing well. Another. Another. A nugger. Wiggly tough. Perfect. So likely I sent this in because it has absolutely no whitening. Thought it was like a slam dunk 10. Uh, but for some reason, uh, the centering looks really good. And it didn't get a 10. Another nine. So complete waste of time. Ooh, a gem mint 10. Goldine. This one might have warranted a nine with the centering top to bottom. It was getting close. Ooh, right in the nuts. Um, this card looked freaking gorgeous. Really sad it got a nine, actually. I was hoping to add a uh, PSA 10 Zapdos to my collection, but I guess we are not. I believe I have that in a 9 already. This card also um, went through, pulled it out of my bulk. It was gem mint. Or not. Seeing there's some whitening on this corner. But besides that, it looks pretty good. <laughs> not really. Somebody's smoking dust when he sent this one in. That one's definitely way worse than on those vending series 8s. Way worse. Surfing Pikachu, PSA 9. Also, this one should have been really good condition. Um, so, I guess I guess a 9 is really good condition. Uh, this is a not a good grade. Uh, I believe this was my friend's card. 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 This was my card, of course. The Pharaoh Servant, first edition, four-star Ladybug of Doom is my card. Get absolutely destroyed. The Literally, it's just like one of my favorite childhood cards. The thing was gem freaking mint. Centering was good. This is something you don't grade unless you're getting a 10. Um, I guess I got a 9. Uh, of course, I got a 9. Caterpie from the starter deck. All the other cards I got from the starter deck were 9s, 8s, or 6s. But we got a 10 Diglett. There we go. I don't know if I have that one in the Diglett collection yet. PSA 9 Sand True. Not bad. I wonder why just the one Diglett 10. I think that was the only 10 card I've gotten out of that starter deck. Ooh, that's a good one. So at least these uh these two match. Both pack fresh sixes. All right. I definitely looked through them because I didn't even submit all the cards. PSA 9 Arbok. Yeah, I did not submit every first edition card out of that pack because some of them weren't worth grading, but I submitted the ones that had shots at 10s. But they pulled sixes. Uh, this one's got pretty bad centering top to bottom. Got a nine. I'd accept it. This one's a Gem Mint 10 Venonat. Nice, nice. One of my best 
gem rates so far, I'd say. I got like five, six, tens. Nine pincer vending series. Muchop PSA 9. Ooh, of course, we got a Parasect. The centering on this one is off left to right. Okay, I guess we got an 8 for that. Bulbasaur. Ooh, a Gem Mint 10 Bulbasaur. Nice. With the scuff on the slab. Look at that right there in between the light. Appreciate you guys on that one. Gem Mint 10. Ooh, dang, bummer. This is, this is one of my favorite arts. I wonder why they all got scuffed in like the same exact location. Very weird. Grimer with a nine. Kabuto with a nine. Ooh, a six. <laughs> Feels pretty bad. I don't know. This is rough, dude. Like, why do I grade cards? I think I'm done grading anything older than... 2016. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to buy the things I want because this is painful. These cards are freaking gorgeous. What a L. What a effing L. Always punished. Doesn't matter if I go to CDC, if I go to PSA, I'm always just taking it. I guess I don't know how to grade cards. Pen Gem Mint 10. Gengar, there we go. Gem Mint 10 Vile Plume. Unlimited, but it's still a 10. And I got the nine Meowth. Sabrina's Gengar in an eight. This one definitely warranted an eight. Add whitening on the back. But it's first edition. That card in a 10 is nuts. This is the first ever banned card. I wanted to grade it. Um, Would have been cool to get a 10. But I think it definitely either had one little wick of, nick of whitening. But I, yeah, got a nine. Bulbasaur got an 8. Of course, my horse. Ivysaur got a 9. Both from the same starter deck. Gem Mint 10 Croconaw. Nice. Not bad for a rookie. 9 Pikachu, of course. Thank you. Drowsy 9. Last in this box, an 8. Very good. Thank you very much for the pain. Next box. I don't think I've ever seen somebody have a PSA submission return that just comes back in any which order. Like, I got 182, 192, 181, 187. I mean, do they not come back in any order anymore? They literally, I feel like it's more work to shuffle them. These definitely got shuffled. It's insane. PSA 9 Kickstarter Hollow Lightning Glass. Pretty card. Pretty, pretty card. Ooh, Max the Daredevil got the PSA 9. So this is the Stranger Things set that I graded. I graded two full sets, actually. So let's see if I get any 10s. If I don't, wowzer. That's rough. PSA 8 Black Hole Shard. Of course. PSA 6. That is so bad. What are we doing, dude? What are we doing? This is the first ever release event for the first MetaZoo thing at the Collecticons. So they gave these away at Collecticons. Insane. Got a six. Wow. All right. I went through that card a few times. Okay. Back to the PSA 8 LOB first at Jesus Aged Christ. Frickin' gorgeous cards. Centering, maybe. Get a 9 top to bottom? Sure. You're going to give me a 9 on that. For an otherwise gem card. No scratches, no surface scuffs, no corner dings. You're really going to give me an 8. Gotcha. I'm not salty, you're salty. So this card's really cool. And it got a 9. So this is two-sided. Hawkins National Library and the Upside Down. I'm really cool, happy they did the Upside Down on the top. I think I submitted it this way because I some of the ones in the pop report had this card in the front and I definitely prefer this one so that's a pretty dope card PSA 9 of course I have not hit a PSA 10 yet oh PSA 9 Mind Flayer the Shadow 
Looks like we got another Leroy PSA 6, my boy, standing strong. PSA 9 Lucas. At least give me all nines. Don't give me a, a wonky set. Jesus. Another Leroy PSA 7. Somewhere where the 7 stacks. 7 stacks huge. PSA 9 Dustin. Of course, dude. Like, what is going on? Centering's off left or right. Jesus. Piazza Bird. This would have been a nice 10, but it's an 8. It's an 8. Kickstarter card. Another Kickstarter Mermaid Scales. PSA 9. This is a cool card. I like this one. The, the art of it anyways. And I know it, thought it was pretty popular as well. This is a pretty card as well. Of course, we got the 6. Count on that. Ooh, the clue. Got an 8. Nice. Very nice. Exceptional. PSA 6, Chief Jim Hopper, pack fresh sixes all day. Let's go, bud. Let's go. Ooh, 11 the mage got a PSA 9. Mm. Feels bad. Oof, Will the Wise, another pack fresh six. Let's get it, bud. Let's get it. Another Leroy Jenkins, PSA 7. Another Leroy Jenkins, PSA 7. I got a bajillion of those. Ooh, Yama's Pikachu, PSA 9. Not bad. Not a 10. Um, I graded one other 10. The other one I graded had much worse centering, and it got a 10. Uh, same exact condition, though. Um, both mint, no flaws, no scratches. The other one got a 10, though. This one didn't. Move that to the 9 stack. PSA 8, Ammonite. I don't want no goddamn 10s anymore. PSA 9. You know what it is. PSA 9. Cubone. You know what time it is. Let's get it. PSA 8, of course. PSA 9. Firo. Okay. This is great. We're doing good. Kadabra. Let's go. Really happy I didn't send these to CGC because I really would have... Probably thoroughly enjoyed that experience. Tauros, PSA 10. PSA 10. We are getting slapped. Cubone, PSA 10. Electabuzz, PSA 8, of course. Voltor, PSA 9, Kamiya. Very nice. Very nice. PSA 10, Magnemite. Damn, dude, are they just really getting on me for that centering, huh? It's off a little top to bottom. Let's take a look at this eight. This one's off top to bottom as well, but I've got an eight. All right. All righty then. PSA 8, Bellsprout, you know, you know. We're back on the train. We're back on the train. PSA 10, Vulpix. Miracles do happen. Oh, of course, another 9 from the basic starter deck. Thank you very much. PSA 8, thank you very much. Let me know if you're enjoying yourself. If you're enjoying watching me suffer in pain, this has been fun. I am looking forward to the next two episodes uh, To uh, for all of you. PSA 10 Arbuck. Wow, you guys need to chill out, dude. I've gotten almost 10 PSA 10s. This Pikachu card's cool. This is a uh, sticker I pulled at a Collecticon with a friend. PSA 7 Hollow Pikachu. What is this crap? Just looks like dog bleep. They just like welded the thing together. Interesting. Interesting approach. And a PSA 9, Ingrid Cold. So the, uh, I believe the gem rate at CDC is roughly around 10%. And I'm right there, pretty much, for this PSA submission return. Uh, I just went through another 100 cards, and I just got back uh, about 16 more 10s. So it's a little bit, little bit more than 10%. Um, 
Thank you very much. So got 10 more or 16 more tens. That's cool. So I think I'm up to like 17 now. That is great. Um, like I said, I got, I think two more, four more boxes to go through. So tune in maybe, I don't know when I'm going to upload the next one, maybe tomorrow. We'll see what happens, but this has been fun. Um, definitely going to be doing a giveaway in the last video. So stay tuned for that one. Um, I'm not looking forward to sending a bunch of these back to get them re-encapsulated because they have a bunch of defects on them. Cause I would hate to have to call that out on every single one of my listings. Uh, that'll be an interesting, I've never really had to talk to PSA customer service. This will be the first time, um, hopefully the last time I ever got to deal with them, but this is pretty bad. The worst quality control I've ever seen from them as far as the slabs and how they look, uh, definitely way too many scuffs on way too many of these. I'm not even looking at every one and it's pretty bad. Um, the number of PSA sixes in this, this episode was the worst I've ever seen. I don't even know how many I got. It was it was insane. How many pack fresh cards got sixes? I looked at pretty much every one of them. So I cannot wait when the time comes for me to re-go through those ones um, and kind of analyze what the heck's going on. Um, likely going to be a lot of cracking going on because there's nothing, there's not worth me even doing this. Like, no. A lot of these cards I'm likely going to lose money on. So this is pretty, pretty epic. Uh, always punished. Talk to you guys later. Peace. <laughs>